Sexy Beauties and Bowls. It's your girl Gina coming back in with another video. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday and hopefully you got the kids off to school and everything is going well. Please excuse the way I talk right now because I bit my tongue a couple days ago and it's just now getting to a point where I can speak a little clearer and I can eat again. So, um, but I wanted to come in because I missed you guys and I wanted to do a couple videos for you. So we're going to do this look on this eye. So I'm not going to hold you guys up with any small talk. We're going to get right into it. That way I don't have to keep stopping and talking and blah, blah, blah. So if I need to tell you something, I'll say it and then um, just move on. Or either I will just go ahead and do a voiceover on this video. So I'm not quite sure which way it's going to go. But either way, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So we've already got this eye primed. Brows are done already, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and go in with our first color. My pen, my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> the first brush I'm going to use is uh, 224 and it looks like this. It's an off brand so there's not really a name on it. Actually, uh, let me back that thing up. I'm going to go in first with the E126 brush and this is from Shop Miss A and I'm going in with this red shade that's in the Dare palette. And I'll pop that uh, right alongside of the video here so you can see it. Now, when I place this color in, I'm just gonna pat it in just so I can build up the color. I'm not gonna do any blending yet. I've been doing some, yeah, I've been watching some Faithful. So I'm changing up the technique a little bit. So we're just gonna go ahead and place that color in there. I'm gonna put this where I want it to be. So as you can see, there's a slight color there, but I want it more pigmented. So I'm gonna go back in and just continue my patting motions. Just like that. And I'm gonna go in one more time and just kind of pat that in there. Now, this technique, you're gonna feel a little I'm confident, but uh, just keep going with it and everything will come together, I promise. Alright, so once I'm satisfied with that, then I'm going to go in with the 224. This looks like a MAC brush. It's labeled as such a MAC brush, but I got this off of eBay, so I know it's not brush. I don't own any MAC brushes yet. So I'm going to go in with that black and I'm just going to go right in here and do the same thing. I'm just going to go in and pat that color in there and get it where I want it and how pigmented I want it. and then drag it out with the remaining color that's on the brush. Go back in. All right, now we're gonna go back to that red and put that back. So I'm gonna make sure that red stays in the look. All right, now we are going to take a clean brush. This is 250 
and it looks like this and this is another dupe for a MAC brush and I'm just gonna go in and slightly blend this out and I'm losing some of my black so I'm gonna go back in All right, now we're gonna go in and cut the crease and I'm using LA Pro. This is color Cool Tan and I'm just gonna go in and cut that crease really quickly. And what I'm doing now is just taking my finger and blending that black into the concealer so it can help me blend the next color together. Easily, easily, easier. <laughs> so, and then go back and take some more of that out. Because the next color is the light color and I don't want it muddied up. Out of black. Just take your brush and do the other blending with it. All right, now I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to pack on a white color and I'm using my The Saharan by Juvia's Place and I'm using that white in there. And I'm just packing that white color on. go in my Fenty Beauty and I'm taking that uh, Milky Way color and we're going to place that right over top of that white. And we got it all packed on. Pretty satisfied with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend out some more just to make sure these colors are married. And I need to go back in with some more black. Just a little bit. And go back with that plain blending brush. Alright, what I did is I squeezed this brush together so I can get where I needed to go with that black. Just put the red back. All right, and then with a smaller brush, I'm going in with just a little light shade of like a pale yellow. And put that right there. All right, 
So I'm gonna go off camera and finish up the lower part of my um, eyes and then I'll be back with modelization and of course my makeup will be on as well because I'm doing a two for today. I gotta do a makeup review foundation so I figured I'll film this look and see how it turns out and um, do a foundation review as well so stay tuned for that as well guys I'll be back in just a second alright guys so I'm all done I went ahead and put my lippy on I used elf and this is color Mm -mm -mm. red apple honey this is color red apple so I wanted to do a red so it can tie in with my transition color up there but yes hunty I am all done so we gonna go ahead and get modelization done so you can get your life and I can get out of here <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Have a great day. And stay fancy.